Tonight, the family of a man put behind bars by two dirty police officers is pushing for a new trial. Both are former Detroit officers who are now serving time for stealing from drug dealers. Before they were convicted, their police work put a man in prison for 13 years. Well, now he's claiming he was framed and that there's video to prove it. Local 4 defender Kevin Dietz investigates. This is David Hansberry and Brian Watson, two convicted Detroit police narcotics officers serving time in federal prison for ripping off drug dealers. In February of 2017, they sat down with me and said they were wrongfully convicted due to malicious prosecution. The evidence will speak for itself. If we don't allow this story to die, if we put it out there, the right people will see. I've heard the prosecution just call me names and dirty cops and this and, you know, like I said, we're going to stay on the high road. The courts disagreed, and Hansberry is serving 13 years, Watson nine. Now this man, Casey Smith, in a court motion requesting a new trial, says he is wrongfully convicted and in prison because the two dirty cops, Hansberry and Watson, framed him. Casey Smith was arrested, charged, and convicted on drug charges associated with a raid on this home. Smith's sister says the house police raided for drugs has surveillance cameras that would prove her brother Casey had nothing to do with the drug house. There are cameras on both sides of the house, so it was all, you know, taken on camera, you know, what took place. The day in question, he was only on the exterior of the home, and they took the DVR, they being the police officers. From prison, Casey Smith writes, Officer Hansberry unplugged the DVR box and said he would review it. Officer Watson then told me in these exact words that he felt I knew more than what I was telling him and that if I didn't give him what he was asking for, he was going to cook my ass. Smith says he refused to plead guilty to a crime he did not commit, so he went to trial. He lost and says it was based on false testimony, writing, during the court hearing, Hansberry was questioned about the DVR box by my attorney. He testified that he did not take the box. Local 4 legal expert Keith Corbett says it's not enough to have cops on your case convicted of a crime to get a new trial. That would be evidence to impeach them as uh, credible witnesses, but it would be a very long stretch for a judge to determine that that is likely to have resulted in the jury throwing out the verdict. Smith has always stood by his innocence. His sister hopes police who know something or Hansberry and Watson themselves will come forward and speak up. I would like to see justice for him. I would like for those officers to tell the truth. The Wayne County Prosecutor's Office issued a statement. In part, it says that Officer Watson and Hansberry are disgraceful and reprehensible. However, in this case, there is no evidence that would merit overturning the jury's verdict in Defendant Smith's case. The Smith family says they will continue to fight and have asked the Michigan Supreme Court Integrity Unit to help take on their cause. Kevin Dietz, Defenders. All right, Kevin, and you can read the prosecutor's entire statement on the Defenders page of our website. Click on Detroit.com.